Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to talk about the samples that I pulled in last week's Sample Sunday series. So I want to start with this one right here. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is a heat and UV protector primer. So last week when I pulled this, I thought for sure it didn't really have a scent to it because I was like, I don't really smell anything. But it's because it's so lightly fragranced. So if you're someone who's very sensitive to scents and things like that, then you're not going to have a problem with that as far as that goes. This, for me, I don't really see much of a difference, but I know that it's supposed to be protecting your hair. It doesn't feel greasy or anything like that in my hair. I can put quite a bit of it in my hair, and I have very thin hair, so I can put quite a bit, and it didn't feel greasy or anything. So if you want something that's going to protect your hair and not really feel, not leave like a feeling behind, like a greasy feeling or like a heavy-weighted feeling, this is something I would check out. Would I purchase it? Probably not right now because I have quite a few of heat protectors and things like that within my collection, but it is something I could consider later on down the road, so it was really nice. The next thing is this right here. This is the Ulta Beauty Almond Honey Moisturizing Body Lotion. I, this smells terrible. Ugh. I don't like the scent of honey. And this has got a really, really strong scent of honey. And it's just, it's gross. I used it one time and I was like, I can't even tolerate it on my skin. It smells so gross to me. I don't like the scent of, when you put honey on your skin especially, because it makes your, that mixed with my body chemistry. Ugh. It smelled almost like BO. So for me, that was a no-go that kind of rhymed but anyway this is something I know I would not purchase not in this particular scent anyway because I know they have other scents so this is something that I know that the lotion itself is really good it's nice and hydrating it's a more thinner formula so it's not it doesn't take a long time to absorb into your skin or anything like that but just this fragrance alone no way I wouldn't get that one I think they have like a ton of different ones you can choose from though so I know for me if I was going to pick one I would just definitely steer clear of that one the next thing is this right here. This is the Strivectin Multi-Action R&R Eye Cream. This is something I thought for sure I had tried this before and I was right. I had tried this before. This is a really good eye cream. This is one I remember raving about before actually because I really enjoyed the way it worked for my under eyes and things like that. It's not too thick but it's kind of thick. It's like right in there in like between like the viscosity of it is a little bit thicker than a typical eye cream or like a serum but it's not like an actual face cream so it's like right in between. So it worked really well for me. I like Strivectin as a skincare line because I feel like most of the products I've tried from Strivectin are very good. So I like this. This is a pretty decent size too for an eye cream because you don't need that much of an eye cream or at least you shouldn't be putting that much on, that much on of an eye cream. You just want to put a thin layer underneath your eyes. So this worked really well for me. The next thing is this right here. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. This is really nice. I love, this is another skincare line I really love. Kate Somerville is quite pricey though. So for me, I don't know if I would purchase this particular like lotion because I have a ton of other lotions I'm going through right now. I'm trying to kind of dwindle down like skincare and things like that because I do expire. So I don't want to keep buying more and more skincare. So for me, I think this is good. Would I recommend it to you guys? Absolutely. If you love Kate Somerville and you want something that's gentle on your skin, I think this is a great moisturizer. But for me, I just won't purchase until I've dwindled down my collection for a little bit. The next thing is something that honestly, guys, I forgot to use. I put it over my desk over here and then I, I completely forgot about it. So I'm going to put this back in to try out this week. I'll still pull two other makeup samples. So I need to retry this or not retry. I need to try it out. So that's something that didn't get tested. This right here is something that is so messy, guys. This is the Frank Body. It says, guess what? You'll be naked in a minute. That's the original coffee scrub. This literally is like coffee grounds, and it makes such a mess. Like, I don't know if you can see it in here or not, but look. In the, see if I can show you. It's literal coffee grounds. It's so messy. It smells good. It smells like coffee. It smells like fresh brewed coffee. But oh my gosh, like my shower had coffee grounds all over it. It's just, it's a mess. And for me, it's not worth it to use that kind of scrub. I'd rather use like a shea sugar scrub or something like that. Because this coffee scrub, no go for me because it's just, it's quite messy. It looks like somebody went out, played in the mud, and then decided to, instead of taking any of the muddy shoes off, stood in the shower with their muddy shoes on is what it looks like. So no, that's not going to happen for me. The next thing is this right here. This is the Redken Extreme Mega Mask. So what you do with this, I thought it was like... It says treatment plus care extender. So I thought it was like a two part thing, but actually you want to combine these. So when you open this, you want to open them together. You want to combine the two together. This is a really, really nice hair treatment. I love the way this worked on my hair. My hair felt very, very soft and silky after I used this. Not only that, I feel like my hair seemed like it was hydrated. I don't know what was in this that gave it the hydration, but it felt very hydrated. Like it was like soaking in all the moisture and everything from this hair mask. And I really did enjoy it. Would I purchase it? Absolutely. Because my hair is not the best quality. So I need to get things that are good for my hair. 
The next thing is this right here. This is the Laura Geller Lash Boss. More length, more volume, curl mascara. This was nothing really fantastic or anything like that. It was just a typical mascara. The wand isn't anything crazy. It's just one of those little plasticky wands. I just didn't find this to be anything extraordinary. It was just a little bit... I mean, the wand is a little bit wonky because it's got one side is a little bit more thicker than the other. But we've all seen wands like that now. I mean, these are nothing different that they're coming out with. They have wands like that in a lot of different formulas that you can get like at the drugstore. So would I purposely purchase a high-end mascara just because of the wand? No, because like I said, you can get drugstore mascaras that work just as good. So this is something I wouldn't purchase because I didn't see anything fantastic happen from it. The next thing is this right here. This is the Mario Badescu Aloe Vera Toner. I do have a full size of this, but I realized it wasn't open yet. So I thought, you know what? This would be a great time to try it before I end up opening up a full size. So this is actually really nice. I love the way this works on my skin. If you are someone who is very sensitive, like your skin is very dry and just gets, you break out from acne very easily, you're going to love this toner because first of all, it does give you some hydration to your skin. It doesn't strip your skin of anything that you need. I really did enjoy this toner. So this is something that I know now that I can enjoy the full size as well. So love this. I love the Mario, De Mario Badescu line also because it's very reasonably priced. So... The next thing are the two perfumes. So we have the Versace Parfumé. Parfumé. This is the Dylan Blue. This does smell good. Was it something that I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have this? No, because it's more of a, it's a very beautiful scent. Don't get me wrong. It's like got a very beautiful fragrance to it, but it's not something that I've never smelled before. It's like, it seems a little bit typical and I don't, I know Versace should be like really, really like high up there for like the scent fragrance and things like that, but it's just, it's not very fancy for me. I'm like, oh, I don't feel, I think if you're going to spend a lot of money on a perfume, then it should make you feel at least a little bit fancy or a little bit special or something. And this one just didn't. The next one is this right here. This is the Erin, the Hibiscus Palm. Now this, oh my goodness, guys. It smells so good. It's got like such a light fragrance to it. It smells like you're it's kind of like a vacation-y scent. I don't know how to describe it other than it's like a vacation scent. It just smells so, so good that when I put this on, I literally just wanted to smell myself. I'm like, okay, look, you're looking a little bit strange now just sitting here smelling yourself. You look weird, but it smells delicious. I would love to purchase this. Erin's Perfumes, Erin, this brand, is pretty pricey though, so I'm like, oh gosh. So that'll be something that maybe I can add to like a Christmas list or like a birthday wish list for next year next year or something like that because I'm not sure I would purchase it for myself because perfumes are one of those things I've got a ton of them and yes I've spent quite a bit of money on some of those but this one's even more this will probably be one of the priciest ones that I own so I'm not sure that I'll purchase it on my own because it's so pricey but if you have a chance to go into the store and smell the Erin the hibiscus palm oh my gosh go smell it it is so good so that is all the samples from last week now we're gonna go ahead and pull our new samples for this week so the first one here is the body care basket. I didn't grab my perfume samples for this week. I think I'm going to skip perfume samples because I've got quite a few samples that I have collected. I'm going to try to start to dwindle those down a little bit just because I feel like perfumes are one of those things that's kind of a little bit weird to do sometimes because I can tell you how it smells to me, but to you it might smell different. So I think we're going to skip a couple weeks on those and we'll come back to perfume. So we're just going to use body care first. So we're going to pull two out of here. The first one is... The Philosophy, the Pure Grace Nude, this is the body lotion. I have not tried this. I have heard that they have a new one out. It's called the Pure Grace Cashmere. Oh my God, or is it Cashmere or something? It's something Cashmere. I really want to try that one. So this is no, no, Nude Rose. So I'm going to try that out and see how good it is because I love the rose scent. So it might be really delicious. The next thing is... Hemp's. This is the Triple Moisturizer Whipped Body Cream. So we've got lots of body lotions. I think people know, or this sample series must know, that my skin is very dry. I need this extra hydration. This one is, is there a scent on here? It doesn't say a scent. So it's just the blue one. So I don't really see as notes or anything like that on here. So I don't know what this is supposed to smell like. Let's give her a smell. It smells very fresh. I love the Hemp's like the body care line it smells so good it's very hydrating so hopefully this won't be a disappointment it'll be just like the others the next basket is this right here this is the makeup basket and like I said I'm going to put this back in the basket to use because I didn't get a chance to use it so I'll put that back in and we're gonna pull two more so the first item is oh let's see what do we got here 
Oh, we have a little pan. Oh my gosh, I'm still pulling products from when I was subscribed to Sochua. So this is a Sochua product. This is the Chanel Powder Blush in 99 Rose Patel. Petal? I have no idea. So let's see what this looks like. Um, so Sochua is no longer a subscription service that you can actually get, unfortunately. So I will show you what this looks like, though. This is just a little pan, and it has a little sticker over it so that we're there. It stayed fresh. I'll stick that somewhere. So there's what the little pan of blush looks like. So I'm excited to try that out. A Chanel blush. I don't think I've ever tried a Chanel blush. Oh, that's pretty. So there's what it looks like. I don't know if you can even see it. It's a very, very light like color. So it's not anything real deep or anything. So I could go in heavy handed and not look like a clown, which is great because sometimes I do look like a clown. The next thing I have is, ooh, we have something from Kevin Aquan. This is the Kevin Aquan, the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting candlelight so I have the Kevin Aquan the powder hand candlelight but I don't think I've ever tried the liquid one so I'm excited to try this to see how good it is Kevin Aquan is a very pricey brand it's another pricey brand that I feel like a lot of these brands their prices are so much that it's like oh my gosh you got to make sure it's worth it before you purchase it so that'll be something great to try out the next thing is our skincare basket so I'm going to pull three out of here the first one is we have the origins checks and balances Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. So here's a little face wash. Actually, it's not even little. That's a pretty decent size. This is one fluid ounce of face wash. So this will last quite a bit. So I'm excited to try that out. Then we have, ooh, something else that's big. Hmm. We have the Pericone Neuropeptide Night Cream. Ooh, this is a half an ounce. So that's a nice, decent size as well. So this will be something that I can change my skin routine up completely for this week and use this for my night cream instead of any of the other night creams that I've been using. So that'll be great. The next thing is, oh, I almost dropped it. This is the Ulta Beauty. This is the clarifying, oh gosh, honey, Smart Skincare Solutions Skin Clearing Peel Off Mask. So I do have a little bit of acne. I have a little spot right here under my nose. So hopefully it'll work because if it smells like honey, guys, I might gag the whole time I'm wearing it. That might not be good. So I'll try it out though. We'll give her a shot. Oh, do you guys hear the thunder? It's getting ready to pour here. Now we're on to the next and last basket, which is the hair care items. So we've got a ton in here. So, oh my. The first one is the Biolage. This is the heat styling primer with coconut milk and meadow farm, meadow foam. What? I've never heard of meadow foam. Not even sure what that is, so I'm excited to see what the heck that is. So it's purple. Maybe it'll be purple to help with my blonde highlights. My hair is a little bit bluish today because I did leave my hair stuff on a little too long again, but that's all right. We'll deal with it. The next thing is, oof, actually this is the last thing too. Oof. We have the Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray. This is medium hold and my lights are flashing, so hopefully it doesn't mess anything up for you guys. Wow, it's getting, we're going to get a huge storm. So this is the dry oil control spray, medium hold, nourishing one. So I love oils for my hair. So hopefully that'll be a good product to use in my hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the winner from last week's samples of the bag. <laughs> the bag is this one. Oh my gosh, that's a huge storm. Uh, the winner is Lisa Jaquez. So Lisa, this is your goodie bag here so that you can um, send me an email at my email address. I'm getting all confused now. The, the lightning is scaring me a little bit and it's pretty loud. Um, so if you send me an email in my at my email address listed in the comment section, I will mail this out to you. This is your goodie bag. I hope this is the right goodie bag. I've been looking all over my room here because I have a giant mess. Believe me, guys, my house is a mess. My, everything's a mess. So hopefully this is the right goodie bag because I am delayed on mailing out some packages. So anybody who's waiting on a package, I do would apologize. But right now, life is just a little bit hectic. I will get them out to you guys. I have not forgotten about you. I promise. So anyway, that is the winner for last week. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to pulling some new samples for this week. So we have our little bucket here and then we have a bag so we have a bag to put everything into so the goodie bag is going to look like this I'm going to put eight samples down in here so I'm going to just start pulling so the first thing is we have the amazing grace this is the shampoo bath and shower gel so here's a little shower gel to try out from the philosophy amazing grace line I love this line for like their body washes and stuff they're not over scented but sometimes I want a little bit more so you have to judge for yourself whoever wins this and see how you feel about it the next thing is from 
organic to green cocoa oil. This is the lemon purifying all-in-one liquid coconut oil. So this might be something good to use in your hair or to remove your makeup. So there's two items. The next item is a Stila. This is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. So here is what it looks like. Hopefully I can get it to focus for you guys. There's what it looks like. So that's three. The next thing is, dig down in here deep. We have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is for all skin types. It's rich in amino acids. So there's a little face cleanser to try out. That's four, we need four more. The next one is, ooh, we have the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Skin Medic Technology. This is a little, like a serum that you can use. It's more like a lotion, but it's like in between lotion and a serum. So there's five. The next one is, ooh, we have another big one. We have the Ahave. This is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Body Lotion, and it's in the scent water. So here is Ahave product. Uh, how many is that? I don't even know now. Three, four, five, six. So two more, guys. The next one is, ooh, another big one. We have the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. So here's a Bosha product. And then the last item is, dig, dig, dig. Oh, what do we got here? We have the Carol's Daughter. This is the Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Sulfate-Free sulfate, sulfate -free Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the Carol's Daughter line. If you have never tried it, you are going to fall in love with her line. It smells so amazing. So this is all the goodies for this week. And as usual, if you are interested in winning this little goodie bag, all you have to do is leave me a comment, any comment. It doesn't matter what you say. It just make sure it has hashtag sample Sunday on it. So other than that, guys, I'd love to know what samples you've tried out recently. Did you try some good ones or did you try some things that you need to steer us clear from? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Music